does if he can't get XP, he just dives mid. Yeah, it's just like just, an upshaker off yeah, the pressure exactly. towards the middle lane. He's gonna pressure the mid laner, Storm and when you face Quop, that storm could be in huge troubles if the Phoenix just roam. Like to get off to a good start, I feel like Gyrocopter is just one of those heroes that takes over a game as a carry more than any other. And well, it's pretty kind of a good yep. start. They might get it. Yeah, bottom lane. The VP were trying to contest for the rune. The Night Movement on the Storm Spirit, but now with Rocket Barrage, Illidan's in a lot of trouble. Complexity looking to spill first blood. There's no nightmare here from Lil and the attack. Coming in from Jaro will take the first blood. Complexity off to a great start against VP once again. Jumping around the edges. I, I don't know what Complexity is really trying to achieve here, especially if you now get the link going in to the Jaro. The Nightmare is instantly going to cancel this TP out. And Z3, there's little he can do. In fact, he's probably going to die himself. That's done. He had extra points of damage into the Razor, and he just beats the Wisp down. A double kill coming in on the Virtus Pro, the whole team against Complexity. Like, what's, what's the stopgap measure item on the Storm Spirit? Oh, complexity. They walk directly into Verse Pro on the Song of the Siren. Catching out four right now. FNG, that's Sonic Wave from God's ready to go. They know where to start. They're looking for the stun timing. There's your Sonic Wave. The Nova's about to hit the ground too with the Fiend Grip control. Complexity, they're not going to find anything. His Windows actually burnt all of his mana. Fly dies a little bit lower. It's Illidan with a triple kill as Phobos turns up the heat on the Storm Spirit. But complexity. Swindle. Can't get close enough. Now they do. They actually get the curse off on Bane. They keep FNG in close, dragging him back. Storm Spirit is still in the middle of this fight. They finally find the first pickoff, but in fact it's going the way of Virtus Pro. They've taken out two. Illidan dropping down low, and the Gyro is a triple kill for God. Mumianda trying to run himself away too, but God's going to get himself an ultra kill. Complexity lose everyone under the tier one tower. And while they might have denied their own tier one tower, Virtus Pro will do the same now. They are dodging fights. This is a nice play actually. Rotating toward the bottom lane, they're pressuring it with Swindle. Yeah, but look at FNG, he TPs down, gets the Song of the Siren, catching out three heroes, moving up higher, so she sees the Gyro as well as the Wyvern here, and Phoenix instantly into the Nova, the Relocate, trying to save and drag him just a little bit further away from the fight, and they do bring down Phoenix with the Gyrocopter. How much damage have he got up against Ilden when he's stolen 196 points of damage? Looking to turn it back into Mumianda, and Illidan standing its ground, but this is now for complexity, they get a triple kill on the Bristle back with the Wisp babysitting him out. That's what Complexity needed to get back in this game. There's a loop around behind the Observer and, and Sentry Ward, and they drop down their own one. God's gonna be the first man moving over as the entire team swindle, jumping in first. They do get that embrace on his God. Almost down, blinks away to safety. He'll survive this to Phoenix though. The egg, he cannot get the stun off. The Sonic Wave hitting hugely from God, but the damage is actually being done here by Complexity, Illidan controlled, and they embrace up again the Gyrocopter. It is three hero kills they get the pickoffs for, and nothing of value is lost for complexity. As you see Swindle having a bit of a walk over, you'll see a TP actually behind the tower. FNG, you did not want to come in there. Z-Freak will give the support, and FNG can't even get the Song of the Siren off. With a call down as well from the Gyro, they're isolating out the rest of Virtus Pro. Hill and TP did as well with the Fiend Strip, controlling up the Storm Spirit. They need to break it free right now. The Rocket Mirage going into the Razor. Illidan dropping low on the Relocate, trying to pull the Storm now. Couldn't do it, wasn't far enough away. And now you still see them go. The Curse, the perfect position. Virtus Pro's in huge amounts of trouble. They have to back up that weapon complexity. They might put a fourth link at you with a double kill from God. The perfect Sonic Wave. They'll move into the Nova, but God still on the back of the Bristleback. Running away, moving over, in fact, Queen of Pain looking forward, chasing up a Z Freak. The TP up, there's no more stuns, but the damage is enough. The gem is dropped and recounted up by the Queen of Pain. And Complexity giving a triple kill to the Queen of Pain. And VP actually played it smart there. FNG walking up into the Radiant, uh, into the Dire Base, sorry, set up for uh, an Orchid. Oh, Moon Meander is really far up, he's alone, and this time there's no IO to save him. Yep. It's pretty fast though. You got a Storm Spirit behind it, the slowdown's not working, in fact, Storm's gonna jump in. Window gonna be set up in the air by his own New York, after buying a little bit more space. It's Illidan, he's actually out of mana, turns on the BKB. The Isle of Storm is doing some work, but he's got no real solid damage. Now the Norm is gonna come in from Phoenix, fly so low, he can't embrace anymore. God, the curse was there, and Illidan's dropped so low too. Illidan's gonna pull ball. Swindle on the front lines here, we're still the other two cores of complexity. Diego's immortal pumps, that's why we now see a secondary god. But Moon Meander so low for the sun ray from Phoenix, reaching up just far enough. The glimmer capes again, the urn charge is ticking down. On the journey, just gets the TP out in time. Away to safety. Z Freak's also going to be able to do so right underneath Phobos. There was no secondary stuff, no disable. 
and Complexity get a 2-2 trade-off with that initiation from VP. And this Bristleback needs to start stacking up. Get the more fast stacks, and in fact, Swindle jumping over on Illidan. The damage is being removed right now, and Illidan's gonna hit pretty hard, especially when he gets the Fiend Scrip over on that Bristleback. He needs a life, and the relocate does come in. They pull him out, in fact, taking him all the way back to base, so they can heal up on the Bristleback. Sentry Wars down this time around, Sindarin. They don't want to fall for the Glimmer Cape Tether away. And in fact, yeah, it's not going to work this time. They commit both Orkin and Sonic Wave. They go for more. They actually find the Bristleback. He came in, but Swindle looking to make even more space. With that call down, Illidan's on the great position. But he's healing so much damage from the Bristleback under the cover of Song of the Siren. Now that Nova combo. This is only going to be number... Well, this is actually number two on the Nova. The hit's going to come in. And so much damage, Illidan can't do any of it. Swindle comes up with a BKB. They get themselves out. FNG, he's in real trouble. Swindle's behind him. The damage is enough. Complexity, they only lose the wisp, but now they look to take their second lane of racks. And maybe more race got buyback. Naka does not. He needs Swindle. He needs mana. But he's still got the Aegis. The more the Sonic Wave spills out. And Gyro not too healthy here, but they take out the tower and push to push the bristle back to the front lines. VP are gonna have to buy back Illidan if they want to hold this, I think. Do they have enough? No Sonic Wave for 15 seconds. I think you're right with a fall down to the back storm. Just jumping in. Illidan still refusing to buy back. Phobos, they try and push him back with the Glimmer Cave. They're able to do so, but the Bristleback is still there. Nightmare's up. The melee racks drops and Complexity get what they wanted, but they may go for more. That Wisp is back here again. Swindle jumping forward. They're looking for the pickoff, and there's the Bane up in the air. And then the Orca, though. Swindle can't really do much more at this point as he gets hexed up as well. The Sonic Wave Swindle's gonna pop. No re immortality for him as now the Bristleback. Nightmare, they need more control. No matter, actually, there is mana for a Fiend Strip. He's got 13 one charges available, but with the Jar moving the front lines, they're really not sure about this. That TP, it's FNG in snare, holding the Bristle back in position. God also moving forward. Again, no Hexman. Now the Jar turning his attack towards Gilliland. Do they have enough control with a call down position? It's too much damage. Murder Thrower in a lot of trouble. They lose one. Fall back instantly. In fact, go to the Queen of Pain. Gilliland's going to drop again the buyback on all three of their cores here. They can do so. And God jumping up, he needs to slow this down with a Sonic Wave, but Wisp still not dead, keeping the Bristleback buffed up as God. Now the curse comes in from Fly, they control the Queen of Pain. There's coming a dieback right now as Swindle goes in deeper, looking for Phobos, a double dieback. Complexity, could they push it even further? Swindle still with a decent amount of mana, but Illidan is back the front lines. He'll buy back. They don't have the Hex at the moment, but then Song of the Siren stopping the fun for the moment. The Nova, the setup again, it's a point blank. This one should be able to connect. Storm jumping forward, however, they want the kill. There's an over hit with the Fiend's Grip, Fumiana. He can't do anything, Illidan, however. Swindle can do it all right over the top of him. Phobos also going to go down into FNG. It's one of the other. It's Dark Hunt. It's Complexity taking game number one up against Virtus Pro after what was one of the most turbulent gold net worth swings we've seen in TI5 so far. Yeah, that I could versus Quarp and AM. Lena. Okay. Oh, okay. So it might not be a silencer mid. It might be a Lena mid. Or it didn't know. Okay, then it is. Put the observer wall down so we can see VP walking in. And then went all the way back to base to get his uh, his manner up now. Swindle. Real trouble. The blink, he waits again as long as he possibly can before using it while on top lane. The fissure comes down, but it's an anti mage with the nukes that can have a novice. Chen having its first presence in the game. The freak helps spill the first blood for complexity. So we're going for more team fight build, and uh, well, he might need to get there in a moment. Middle lane, Anti Mage put under FNG, He's having the easiest time. Neither is a little, but Illidan with the with the follow up stun. Anti Mage needs to blink, can't do, can't do it. Laguna Blade will connect, but FNG won't get out this one free. And now in comes Swindle. No mana for the Sonic Wave. He's short, but Illidan actually no the Fisher keeping complexity out. I showed a lot by the magical damage of. The Silencer and the Lina and Shaker in this game, and of course the Iron Shells too. It's, it's not a nice game to be an Animage in as they're going in on low bottom. Yeah, Lil cursed up, and the Mana Boy try to actually cancel the animation of Earthshaker. And this will be the last attack coming in from Fly to ensure the kill actually put the Animage under. So we came back up. Meanwhile, on top lane, Swindon Melons actually jumped in with the Broodmother to find the kill over on the Lina. Back behind the trees, but they keep the fight going on bottom lane. FNG still no level six, and in fact, gonna get troll trapped up. The Centaur's gonna stop. He can actually hold F. 
FNG there, wait until after the mirror image to get it done. And into the tornado, well, they can at least all fly there while Anti Mage keeping Phobos out so he cannot come and join the rest of his teammates. The silence on Z Freak, not a happy place to be, but FNG dropping too low. The Spidling spawn inside of him, and in fact, even deeper in there. Swindle's about to come in from behind the Echo Slam from Lil, but Moomian is just way too strong. You've got a Queen of Pain coming in from the side, blinking a Sonic Wave. The Earthshaker's gonna drop, and they're gonna get another one. Got the retreat out of mana in a moment. He's got one charges, and maybe he can keep this enemy mage back, but no, it's not gonna work. They blink forward, and they find God. Nine for two, Phobos looking for some extra stuff. He's got one one charge Swindle in a moment, but the Lena, the Slave, just able to reach him in time. The T1 tower is dying right now to the value skeleton warriors. All Kiras, sometimes PKB, sometimes the Hex. And you just know that extra oh, three is going to help, gonna help Song you Song of the Siren is going to come off here from FNG, Fly, and Z-Free. They don't know if there until now. The Glimmer Cape is going to be revealed. And Illidan, where's your stun? Phobos backing him back in. They don't get the stun effect. Illidan getting controlled up by Swindle. Z-Free still so low. He got the Mega Hand of God off. Hence the life came back up so quickly. And Illidan with the Echo Slam. They got enough damage here, Furnace Pro. You got the enemy trap from the clip side. Do the map out behind. Taking our leader from the perch. Lil barely surviving from the shadow down to 60 life as Fly trying to glimmer cape himself away back behind the tower. In fact, now he's looking over towards Phobos. Doesn't actually have that Arctic burn just yet, so he can't just run straight up. Now you'll see him and the damage it is not enough. As Illidan gets the solo kill on the Queen of Pain. It's just too easy, right? Because the moment he gets the yours off, they're going to back him back in, back in. And they've got double Iron Shell there. One, actually, is it going to be enough damage? The Brew Mother's still very tanky. And now, with the extra hand of God, he comes back up. He's locked inside the wall. Can't break free. The Aegis Immortal will trigger, but Phobos also trapped around Spinal. It's the song of the sun from FNG. They want to try and reset this quickly. They do find the Chen. Hand of God's up in six seconds' time. If he can live long enough, they can't. Not with the Global Silence. Move me called out. Virtus Pro, great team fight. He is just so low. They trigger the dust, keep the vision up, and he's down. The Mana Void jumping, not enough damage. Swindle though for the Yule Scepter Act. He actually went for the ulti, but Illidan hits the ground. Now in comes the Anti Mage, ripping apart the Silencer. Back and back in, trying to buy some time, but time is not on the side of Virtus Pro. FNG on the run back out of here. The owner's ticking him down. One more slice of the dice. That's going to be it. Oh, they might not Swindle's still in the hill. They, they put down blade. the sentry wards, but already Illidan with the Yule Scepter over on the chain of the Orchid comes in from Swindle. The Global Silence will buy some space with the curse. It's on the Lena. So DKV, uh, DK Verbos couldn't actually answer back with the back back in. They get a little bit more space now. The Brew Mother makes his way. The Mana Style dodging out of this, and Illidan so low. The Song of the Siren again. VP. They try and reset this fight. Gets an upper hand. Flies back down again. And where is the attack? The Lion Striker A connects on Anti Mage. He's almost down. In fact, they will bring him down. Swindle being held up in the embrace. He will still actually be able to pop himself away with a blink. Actually, he's sent back all the way back to base by the Chen. But the rest of his team is not so lucky. God will take a triple kill. Bonus Pro. Perfect reset, perfect take. You have so much pure damage between the Silencer and the Lena to deal with him now. G and oh. Auto though. And yeah, they give it a crack and they may just have enough. However, with that Hex and now Global Silence, Any Mage tries to break free, but the Song of the Siren from FNG is going to hold complexity here. Thus, no way to get himself out of the clip game. The back, back in the wall with the Laguna Blade. Virtus Pro showing just how much damage they've got. They will not only take the kills, but they'll slip in and see that Roshan's alive. They're gonna get an Aegis to boot. But Lil's back a long, long way. God, now he's farming up. You got the brood by the right behind him. Fresh BKB also arrived. And God, there's your orc as they start him in Sonic Wave. They really want to kill him. The silence of the BKBs allow Swindle and Moomianda to keep on fighting. And FNG, Song of the Siren, not enough control. Meanwhile, East, they've managed to find the kill over in the Winter Wyvern. And Illidan gonna go to work. They're back, back in and go to a double wall. Phobos sticking in front, body blocking up Moomianda. They see him perfectly. He's gonna die as a pig right now inside of the dire jungle. And even more, the Any Mage is brought down. They combo with God, who bought back into the fight, but well worth it. Two cores and a support. They're getting that complexity. It's not like it's a bad idea. They're coming in right now. Virtus Pro, they get the initial stun, and there's your song with a siren catching almost all of them. In fact, it actually isolates the Any Mage and Phobos. He really wants to find this kill. Global Silence, that's number one. There's a number two, and there she goes. Any Mage just can't walk away. Even the three hexes and Laguna Blade, they bring him down. 105 seconds on the side on the Sonic Wave. Minimal effectiveness and Illidan, a double stun, and back in again for the Earthshaker. He's able to find his double stun. The curse is down, but again.
again, we talked about this. There's just not enough damage coming from it. The slave kills off Chen. He was trying to TP himself away to safety inside the pit, unable to do so. And now Virtus Pro, even with the sun on Swindle, he'll be able to get himself away. But they will claim yet another Roshan here against Complexity. As Moomiander triggers the Lincoln Sphere of Illidan, and then Wyvern trying to blink in. Actually got Yule Tendrum instantly by Illidan, the Song of the Tower from FNG. They isolate the Broodmother, the BKB, he did it himself. That's why they can keep attacking him right now. And the damage is enough to kill him up before the Song of the Tower from the back of the wall. With the Echo Slam, Virtus Pro, perfectly on target. They'll go through four, they'll almost go through five, but they'll get the GG. They pull it back and force it into a third game, wiping complexity out. Virtus Pro keeping the hopes of CIS alive. And they really needed that. I mean, you can sort of lane against a corp. It depends on the first Shadow Strike. If you can actually dodge the Shadow Strike with Slight, spirit. then you're actually fine. A Spirit combo. Ember and Storm. I don't think it's Savages at all there. Thinking it was even possible that Complexity would run an Ember Spirit off lane. Um, they did go for that lane spot. Mid lane, yeah. Well, there's your first kill, so Storm Spirit. You had to wait for that fissure as long time, but it finally came in from FNG. VP kind of decide where complexity go, and they never go there for a kill. They always go to defend. When they go for the kills, it's super ambitious. Fissure, and unlikely ultimate as well, the Sonic Wave. You can use up for the Echo Slam. He was looking for the instant kill, and FNG got it at the same time. You've just lost Lina. A solo kill for Phobos on the bottom lane. Much easier to play than the first game they had to win. Swindle, you're at a very long way here, and then Yule stepped her up. He's got a little bit of life, 1,100, but the Earthshaker, sitting on the rim of the fissure, throws out the Echo Slam and finds the kill. And now God looks for another one of his own. Orca's over on the Tusker, throws out the Sonic Wave, hits on three, the Meg Charge from Moon's gonna keep Deep Freak alive uh, just a fraction of a second longer. He still pops to the Orca damage, and now Lil's even gonna find Moon grabbing Soul Rip at this point. And it's gonna force him back to the Fusal Charge, and... Ah, uh, Echo Slam on bottom, but the Yule Center from Swindle, they got more than enough damage to finish the job. The Ember Spirit, all the weight is right now on the shoulders of the Ember, but Complexity, they're trying to find an opening. A solo FNG would be wonderful, the smoke's gonna break, they find something better, they find God, can they kill him with Laguna Blade? God's low, no blink away, he cannot get out in time. The Tusker takes over 1,000 gold for the kill, and they want more. FNG, Swindle jumps up, FNG's gone east, but Ed, that's a, that's a very dead Earthshaker. He can't get himself out of this trouble that he's in. Meanwhile, on bottom, though, you got the pick up on the Ember Spirit as well as the Orchid Moon. He's the man that's in trouble, Phobos. Man, Moses, but the flies come back, and now VP, they've gone in a little bit too deep. They need a little bit more control on this group, but the BKP will now wear out. Since you are down, they've got the vision. Complexity, they're fighting back. Phobos drops. The middle lane still being pressured. The Swindermelon's jumping back from the PL, who doppelgangers away, side of the chain. He can't find the real one. But Complexity, not only do they hold their racks and their towers, but they find three huge kills on Virtus Pro. At the same time, Virtus Pro now. Like, they've still been farming the entire time. Echo Slam, Swindle, real trouble. FNG. They bring down the Storm Spirit. And now, there's a big hole in complexity. That's 71 seconds, no buyback wait, wait, on the Storm. Wait, wait. And they're going for more down the mid. In fact, with a snowball in, can they find the Oming Illidan? Dodging it out, he makes a doppelganger away, but still losing life quickly. They're all behind him. God, look, lining up the Sonic Wave, hits them all, but the damage output, God wants fly. And now you'll set the Rob, you not be able to get him. Will there be time? God, the BKBs are protecting him. FNG, moving in for support as well for the Scream. God's doing it by himself. The snowball in, Z, bring the blink away. God's gonna survive through all of this. In fact, he's denying himself up to center if he's, if he's not careful. There's a two-for-one trade-off. Moon will be able to bring down Lil, evening up the odds, but FNG trying to solve against the atmosphere with a slide of fist, dodging the Fisher. Complexity, they still hold the ground and they waste the time of Virtus Pro before the Storm Spirit was going to come back up. He's got to feel really sad about that. You know, when you go for that efficiency, it's the thing that, you know, it, ha it happens like one out of a hundred games that that thing happens to you, right? And then it has to be in the deciding game here. That is just... So incredibly unfortunate for Swindle. And he obviously has to play on, on full efficiency, right? Yeah, John, they're yeah. going up to Phobos. The pull back in with Laguna Blade. They find the pickoff. Storm Spirit repairs a lot of what he lost by getting a thousand gold for that kill, but now he's not getting it out. The Echo Slam, FNG's in. Moon he needs to keep him alive. Swindle back in again. The Storm Spirit, he's doing the work. FNG's down. The Ember Max to jump us up back out for Swindle. Needs more mana. Has enough. Back to the tree line. The stuff from Fly. Buying 
space. Deep Freak also with shards and, and punch available is going to try and TP out. Minimal casualties is the goal right now from Complexity. No more pickoffs, and in fact, there won't be any. Brood down, Earthshaker down, space once again being created by Complexity. How big is this ember getting? And when's his next item? He's got 4,000. Is this. I actually still think the Battle Fury is probably going to be more effective than a Rapier game. Minutes behind Par on his itemization because of that Yule's loss. Life is hard. It's it's a very, very sad game. Ember Spirit. Well, those Barleys don't survive long. He'll defense Spirit away. Swindle still on the front lines, and it was, in fact, uh, the Demon Edge being picked up by Ember, so he's got a little bit of extra damage as he jumps around and Searing chains up the chip the creek way. But the melee racks is low, the Shards Knights are locked with FNG once again. Perfect time from the Earthshaker. They need more, however, and they may just get an FNG dropping quickly. Fly doing the work from the back lines. The Soul Rift that was sold by Rubik keeps up that Earthshaker. Two down, the Ember might have bought back, and they do keep on rampaging in. VP need more work, Moon on the front lines, Fission up, they're turning on him, the Glimmer Cape won't save you from this, he has to ulti, Decay, Sora, of Anthic, Illidan, traps again, now the Ember coming back towards the front lines, they find the kill, the Storm Spirit goes down, VP now need to get out Skull Free if they can, no Fissure available, but all five heroes remain up for Virtus Pro. There's also the mid lane, more slider fist time, but the pressure coming in, from all sides apart from top, and that's actually where Swindle is. Swindle's not even in base right now. He's still gonna TP back. They may take the tier one tower on top lane. And Virtus Pro is successful defense at the moment, but look at Phobos inside the base, chasing after flying. He's gonna orchid him up and try and force Swindle to TP back. The tower's still gonna be fortified. The catapult will take care of it. Swindle needs this time to regenerate. He's bottling up as quick as he possibly can. And again, this side of fist, they waited for Zs to come back. And now they found the opening with a Sonic Wave Moon. He's gonna drop as well. It's two down. Z3 is gonna try and win the Echo Slam. Just put the seal on the deal right now. Virtus Pro, they're all over Complexity's base. And maybe they're about to eliminate them. Even FNG surviving on 50 HP. It's a double raxing and Complexity. We know they like to just hold on to the bitter end. But VP are about to claim Megas against Complexity. There are no buybacks on the four dead heroes of Complexity. And GG! Complexity will be eliminated from the International Five. And Virtus Pro keep their run going through the lower bracket. The rough road to the Grand Final. Oh, this looks like it's hard on Swindle. I think he takes a lot of responsibility in that game. He had a really, really hard time on his Storm Spirit. I mean, they've gone with the techies, but then you leave Puppy's chance. And here goes the burning engine, which they had to see it kind of, of giving Artur health regen in a mid. They're, They're making the this. move, 430. He's got to be careful. One raid's coming out. Arteezy oh. with the second. It's a first blood for Secret. Perfect execution. Even the shockwave from the Satter there used to secure the kill. He's running down. Uh-oh. There's a lot of potential for a kill here. Arteezy, one action. raise, two raise. He got him and blinks forward just in case, dancing on his corpse a bit. Obviously, there was a big discussion in, you know, the, the so-called locker room about how they should adapt after the way Ehome took care of them. But now top lane, they make a go on Zai here. Can they finally get on the board? It's 5-0 to zero currently. Zai takes the stun from Tron. The finger is used. And at long last, they get a kill. This is going to be but huge. Secret on the secret. They're now wrapping the around. Comes out. The ping comes out. They're expecting it. IG in a decent position. This could be the first big team fight. As S4 scouts things out, he's going to ball over the trees. He balls right in to the entire enemy squad. They get the hex to start it off. Mana Void is available. He does use it. Takes down S4, but our TZ BKB. So they don't lose anyone aside from a single storm. And now the cores start to drop the gyrocopter down. Faith also in danger. He does TP home. A two for one. Oh, our TZ. If he doesn't get the BKB off there, he may be forced back by that Mana Void. Themselves. It's an invis Arteezy. Oh, if he There's walks a little too forward. Here. IG are banking everything on Arteezy getting aggressive, and he might. He walks in. Oh, they eat. Oh, just out of vision. Close call there. Now the BKB. Requiem attempted. Tron blinks into it. Completely caught off guard. S4 is a little low in mana, down to 650. Could be a ticking time bomb. His fate gets caught. Yules is there to prevent the TP out, and they're going to lose two off of this. The trap was set by IG, but it was Secret who sprung it. Let's see. You get one shot at this combination if you're IG. You have to hit it this time around. Will Secret even group up? Maybe they don't leave all their cores in one lane. It's S4 going on mid. They're trying to spread this map out so that IG never have a combo available. Well, that's two granite golems here. Oh, they go in. There they start off with the Hex, the Finger, the follow-up on Ortiz. They focus him down. Monoboy was used, but it's not enough. Ortiz alive. Healthy through it all. Burning just not getting the damage done. And now it's 
Bernie being focused, fights his way through it though. Oh, Catch him alive! Alive! They just can't kill him, he blinks out. That's four still with a second light though. 430 in danger as the Imperial Blade's gonna wear off. He will go down. The combo's been used. Secret have withstood it. And now they get another Shadow Feed. This will mitigate some of our TZ's damage, but the tower, oh, they prevent it from going down now. Holding for now. Get a couple of extra auto attacks off from that and burning. Prep to go in, but where's the initiation? Where is it going to come from? No darks here for three. They may have to sack with Melex. No, they engage, but our TZ BKB was ready for this. Burning, unable to focus him down during this time as the grave will keep Twan alive in the back of the fight. The Requiem, it's coming for Burning. He's forced back and they lead forward. That's four. Can he get the job done? Almost. Mana Void on two. Burning with the blend. They're going to get on TZ. A complete hold for IG. They even keep the melee ranks alive and they'll kill off the creeps. They hang on again. And it has to start getting in Secret's head now. That's a 5k gold swing. It is a lot of structural damage blitz. TP to the bottom lane. It looks like he wants to go. He'll have the Abyssal at the ready. They are going to move into position to contest the Secret, though. Have Vision on two down in the river as IG walk in. They don't have Shadow Fiend. They're trying to force the buyback with this movement. Have to be careful not to get caught on the way out, though. As 430 gets pushed around, is he going to BKP so here? He's going to need to. He gets stunned. Now netted, held in position, burning, trying to clear out the creeps. Arteezy stubbornly oh, refusing to buy back, there? but it's going to cost them Puppy. A Blake in, follow-up, stun from the Abyssal, and Puppy's down for the count. He does not have buyback. And into the pit they go. No Arteezy for this fight. S4 looking for a miracle age of steel, perhaps. He's dropping the remnants here on the high ground. They've got vision from the sigil. It moves directly in the pit to slow this down, and Arteezy will respawn. Three seconds. Curl could blink at Winter's Curse. IG have to be ready for this. In the Sharks go. Roche dropping low. Burning getting best at the last moment. Now the jump. Can he get it? Burning grabs it. The Radiant get the kill! Everything for IG! And now the back! The clean! Destruction! IG take down two! Will they get Zai? Yes, they will! Burning again! Refusing to die will not be denied! And IG sees momentum! This gold side, it's still cooling down here. He'll blink out. Does take quite a bit of damage, and Kuroki goes in there, so it's his curse! They're gonna turn Burning against his own countrymen! But Burning stands, he'll fight through this, the BKB from Arteezy forced out. Can they kill him again? Blink and Hex onto Arteezy, follow-up stun is there, and now Burning leaps in! He's looking for another kill, the back! The back! But where's the follow-up to send home for Puppy? It's gonna keep Arteezy alive, as S4 retreats, he's a Monovoid, waiting to happen! He doesn't die, but it'll cost them the Winter Wyvern. It's Secret's turn to hang on. The Burning Illusion looking to finish off what the heroes could not. Burning's in range. Is he going to go? He has the buyback you mentioned, but he wants to fight with the team, and now they jump. It's a two heroes done. Twan found one up the hill. More than he expected. The back. Look for the Monovoid. Burning still holding it. He's not doing anything during this time. Artesia wants the Requiem, but it's S4. He's trapped. He's done. IG searching. Searching for more. A missile storms in and it, oh, Arteezy playing with fire if that one hits. Secret, baiting, waiting for it. They're gonna bait out the blinks and now the buyback, an instant go on Snowball on two. Walrus punch there, but the defensive e blade keeps 430 alive. Back, no follow up, IG still retreating. Surge back, 430, again, back and back he goes. The call down will cover the retreat, or at least that's the plan. Zai jumping in, he looks for the shards, he doesn't get to hold on. And now burning on Arteezy, where's the help? He needs it now. Sent home! The saves again from Secret! Hanging on, but not good enough for the supports. They will fall. Zai, he's down for the count. Eviscerated by Birdie once more. The core's in jeopardy here. They've got to hold against all odds. No buybacks on three of the Secret heroes. If Storm dies again, he's out of the game. And at that point, it's probably GG. Burning's already at 7k gold. They've got a lot of He's got buyback. He's, he's got, got the boost to travel. Too. S4 has to be so careful. He's got his BKB up, but it's only six seconds. He's going to jump in just to buy time for his oh, team. He's going on the supports. He makes his move on Chuan, but Burning's there. He's got a pistol blade. If he drags run. him down, it's a dieback, and it's big trouble. But Secret, hang on. They bring down the Lion. They only lose a melee Rex through it all. And now bottom lane's pushing. Top Blitz pushing IG, unable to fully close out this game. But you look at the tail, the graph tells Blitz. Uh, turn around and, I mean, they just have to be so careful against him. They can't hard commit to killing anybody. He's shoving in the lanes. Burning is going for high ground. There's no dire glyph. They're not really in position for this. They're leaving S4 bottom, trying to bait out a TP, but it's only a range rex there in the top lane. That's not good enough. He's going to get the melee. He cleans up the Chen creeps, cleaving through everything. Secret's still on the wraparound. They're going to find somebody. It's the 430 gyrocopter. Is that enough? Already the retreat is being scrambled. They hex die. 430 survives, courtesy of the Ghost Scepter. Winner's Curse is there, but it's not a burning. He's 
shredding Arteezy. He's held in place, kept alive by a cold embrace, oh, but only for now. Buyback. He's dead and does have the buyback. Going for it is S4. He's moving on to mid. He's been taking the melee racks during this time, just burning back. He doesn't have boots of travel. S4 stalling, dragging creeps. The pings go onto the throne. I got the divine. Forget about it. Forget about the racks. They, they just want the it. They want it all. IG want the win. They want it now. Arteezy coming in. There's the ball. The send back. But burning's healthy. He's getting a little nervous with this rapier blitz. He's going to back off from the precipice. It's now two melee racks is on two. Still only a one. Or actually, sorry, it was a rage rack smith. The melee rack's actually is still alive. Slight creep advantage here for IG. And they push in towards Arteezy. 430, working on the racks. Everybody on IG is buyback. Nobody on secret does. Balling in his S4. There's the hex, the send back again. But what is it accomplishing? Burning's killing the buildings. This base is in shambles. It's going to go down soon. They have to Burning's make their move. Here. And they got to make it now. He blinks away. Oh, and he works on the racks. Throw. There's a glyph. He's going for it. IG will take it. Unbelievable. We talked about IG needing big individual performances. He didn't have Ferrari with him, but Burning doesn't even care as he drags them across the finish line. They go for the throw. Yeah. So either a sanking, Shaker obviously banned out. Spirit Breaker. Spirit, Spirit Breaker. breaker. All right. They need an initiation. It's going to give them a bit of initiation and Spirit Breaker yeah, plus. Uh, has one of the lowest they're gonna fight. The Here comes the charge. The cogs are ready. It's gonna block Chuan away. Zai trap from the side comes burning. They're gonna work on the clockwork as Luo moves forward. Zoning the rest of the team back. Shadow Fiend engaging into the river. Still isn't skilled anything. Who gets the bounty root? Arteezy grabbing one. The Shadow Fiend the other. Zai on the run now. Iron Shell burning him down slowly as Luo's on the chase. But the first blood is Kuro and the bounty hunter. They're looking for two. Still diving. Luo can't quite get it done despite the karate chop. Hulk is just a creep or two away. Zai's got it now. Could he go for the hook here? There is a doppelganger available. They can combo this. Hook, rocket, and no Zeus hold even needed. Zai does it alone. Very, very well executed by Secret. The, from Juan. the Shadow Fiend is a little bit of a hard commitment, but... Oh, Kuro, he went for just a split-second track, but he got scouted out of there's dust on Chuan. Those reactions, almost instantaneous. He gets two tracks out, but it costs him his life. You know. They are going to charge top. Chuan, a long gallop across the map. May get scouted out here. Now the fight breaking out. 430, the first man in will lose the Aegis, but he will have a second life. Eclipse is prepping. It's hitting creeps for now. It will bring down Luo. They are 430 also dead. He didn't back. He didn't get it off. And now Secret Chase throwing a hook again. Combination after combination. Just slaughtering IG under the tower. They thought with two lives, they would really be able to hold that. Up the absolute hardest hold of their tournament lives right now as Burning gets quickly nuked down. He's got to worry about this Laguna Blade from Puppy. Sitting far back tower, about to drop. Nobody wants to go in. Nobody wants to get close to Secret, and that means it's the Rax that take a pounding as Burning jumps his way back. The Zeus all finds him. Another freebie Secret. Just making it look easy here. IG, one lane of Rax down, 24 minutes in. They've been on the break. They've lost three games in a row on the main stage here in Key Arena Blitz, but it hasn't phased them, Look not even a bit. Go They're going in. They want the Shadow Beam back. Can they turn it? Charge from Chuan. Good combo. They get Puppy, but now the Requiem for 430 trying to kill off Arteezy. He can't do it. He's still got Aegis. He's going to go for Faith instead. They only lose the lead, and the racks are down. Still the track gold going Secret's way. Everybody on IG backing off, and what do they even have left at this point? There's a freaking Shiva's on Zai. We're 25 minutes in. They're getting late game items. This looks like it's 40 minutes in. Butterfly could pretty much be finished for Arteezy. He's already got the evasion available, but he doesn't even care to wait for it. It's 4.30 next, tracked up, back to the well with yesterday secret. We want two lanes of racks. We're not giving you a chance to turtle. No chance for a comeback is the goal. Just end it now, end it quickly. And boy, this base is crumbling. They have to do something. They can't really give up the second set of racks, but IG start to but realize this is just not enough for them to hold. The illusions from burning almost instantly go down. The Shadow Fiend is being nuked to all hell. This bottom racks is definitely gonna fall. That's Arteezy in front and GG IG. They know their toast. It's a complete turn of the events and we go to our second game three of the main event here. Oh boy, Blitz. Day number three turning out to be much closer down the stretch. Yeah, and Secret, this time around, they waste no time taking care of business. They say to themselves, we're not worried about the split push anymore. We're just going to end this game on our terms.
It's funny because I'm pretty sure I saw Artizi practice the, the Rasta mid, or was it S4? One of them has played a hero on the mid lane. There's that AA you mentioned. Uh, that's the drop. He just kept on catching them off guard. Yeah, he does have the support of a Darkseer, so they can get aggressive. They've got a point and pull here on Zai. He's dangerously close to being killed off. In fact, he looks like he may be the first one to pull perfectly timed Zai. Chilling touch coming out the cast. They got him! IG from range, get it done. And Secret just not... Now, Kuroki oh, oh, still in Viz, not hitting creeps just yet. Maybe he wants to detract a little attention, and they've already got the wraparound going. Shadow Shaman Ward's not yet online. 430 in danger, about to be hexed. Oh, he doesn't get it off in time. No jump out, no escape. 430 down. The trade for IG will be pressure bottom, but they're giving up the kill as well as the tower. It's a tier two being worked upon, but already the rotation. S4 is going to TP, and he pings himself. Looks like he's calling for backup. Lil hides in the trees, he's got the hook at the ready. Who's he gonna connect on to start this fight? Does he go in? He does on to Zai immediately off the bat. The Ice Blast follow-up ends him off, off the bat, but they trade. They lose the clockwork to the, the Laguna Blade, so a one for one and a two for one around the map. Test this. Speaking and of Rose go time, Secret are also moving. This is right before they get tracked though. So even if they get kills, they won't have the bonus gold, but they may start the fight off onto Burning. He gets hexed, he won't be able to mech, the hook comes through. He gets it off, now the turn. Ice Blast! Force back. The wards got dropped. They'll be farmed up. This is a really good one for them to go for because IG uh, after Ice this. Ice Blast is coming in. It's going to connect on two. Maybe for Ortiz. He gets bashed as well in the pit. The stuns come in. Another oh, rocket we'll plugs into him. And the hook. Lula looking to turn it. And now the jump over the Aegis Snatch. 430 got it. He's done it. But can he live round two? They've got Alina stun at three seconds. It's not quite soon enough. Yules setting up. Buying time. Stun is there. Maybe they can kill him twice. It's a track kill if they do it. Yes, they will. Birdie runs in, but it's without the BKB. He does pop the mech. He tries to run, but he's a man on his own. Requiem not in time. Secret pull out the magic. And they hang on to spray what looked like imminent disaster. The back of your mind, and they know that Ferrari's here, and they might actually isolate him out. They, they have the blink. The S4's blink is looking online. For this right now. It's not cut. It's not on Puppy, though. So he won't have it to initiate this one, unfortunately. But they are going to look for Faith. Easy take wait for down the for S4. The track. They wait, and they get it. Three hero ice blast comes out, but absolutely no follow up. Clockwork moving into position here. We'll have the hook, but it's going to be after the Ice Blast wears off. They really need a counter kill. IG need this one. They're going to find S4. There's the hook. He's trapped within the cogs. Yule's cooling down in four. They need some backup. Laguna turns it. Death Ward as well, and they can't get the job done. But the cask is a bouncing, and Chuan almost finishes off two. He actually fails to get any. He's been left alone. Where's the backup for Chuan? He's just not getting it. This could be another, another track kill again. And meanwhile on the mid, where Zai is holding on against 430. Even backs him back in. What's more, TP can be canceled, and they got him! IG self-destructing, and Secret taking every opportunity to pull ahead. Bernie will mech him up. I mean, maybe 430 gets out with his life, but if so, only barely. Curl gives the track. Do they have the move speed? They can search Curl in. They're gonna go for this. They're committing for something extra. Bernie does BKB Requiem. He might need to use a track. Self-deny does come out. The Requiem onto Curl. No, he's just gonna TP out instead. Won't even bother. Burning. Seeker right now, they just have to play safe. Arteezy's getting his BKB delivered. Oh, they see him. one. They see one. They're surging. They're looking for Burning. He needs to BKB dodge this stun or he's going to go down. He will immediately. Luo with the counter initiation raises. Death Ward. Commitment. Arteezy walks into it. He turns on to Luo. The back wall the other way from Zai. Looking for the back step. Requiem will mitigate some of this in go outgoing damage from Arteezy. And now they bar it's forward. KB with Arteezy. This is a big kill if they can grab it. Bloodstone charge is coming. The war trap of Puppy. But he's going to one at a time. He needs the help of the team. And now 430 looking for more nobody else to claim oh. okay. okay i know there's only five here you can't you two can man <laughs> the hook finds one it's onto arteezy but he's got an eclipse available doesn't want to blow it off the battle bkb tries to fight this lucid beam still holding the eclipse he's thinking about it he even started to cast it but ends up not track coming in now are they gonna go for the requiem on the respawn is the timing right yes it is they get arteezy what a pick the timing oh, they're burning too. they're looking for more of the jump this is, could be the one big fight. Track going out the other way. The Death Ward's only the back. The back. The wall. The counter play from Zai. He is the difference for Secret. And now they have 430. Oh, the gem. He's got the gem. Even if he Bloodstone denies, it's a gem down. And Secret will snag it. And even after what looks like an amazing pick, they're going to lose more. They may even lose Chuan Zai. No mana for a vac here. We'll settle for a Sentry Ward. Somebody, but.
when you don't have a smoke like that and you just go in, it's There's for the hog. We're starting the fight off. They found Kuro off the bat. That limits the amount of track gold that will come up with Luo. The first man down. Now the Requiem trying to turn this fight. Follow up by his blast. A huge amount of damage. And then Death War rains down. But S4 scurries away. They haven't finished up anyone crucial here. Just a bounty on her. And Puppy turns it. He traps and burns it inside the wards. Ultimate position. They don't have a look good, but they had the chain stun. Burning in jeopardy. Burning down. Four have fallen. Outmaneuvered. Outfun. And outplayed. IG about to get wiped. Twan, the last man standing. He just didn't quite find the ward position. It's five dead. And it's straight down the middle lane. Forget about the potential row secret say. We want racks and we want them right now. Is, is mediocre, burning with only a Crystalis to call his own. And now they go, Pipe immediately, race number one comes down in the jump in for 430. He BKBs immediately, they want to kill a puppy, but he's already dropped the wards. So what does it really matter? Requiem was there, but Arteezy fights his way through it. And now can go with the Eclipse, the creeps there to tank it, but continues to rain down. Golden Doom upon IG, burning, stunned for. He has the buyback, but everybody from Secret stands together. They lost as a team and now they're winning as one. And they go for the throne. They hang on here at TI. One of the fan favorites coming in. About to end it. Tier Force fall. And your TI2 champions, they just don't have much left. One last hold. That's all it is. A few moments. And then IG will tap out. And we'll see 430 and Faith denied a chance to repeat. S4 and Puppy. They'll have theirs as 430 is the last man down. This one hurts, Blitz. And it feels so good for Secret. But they still have to be sweating. This game was a little bit more close for comfort in that mid game. And I mean, all the way down, down game one, take the next two. You gotta be sweating. Only one team can move on, and that makes Secret the last team to move into the top eight here at TI. But they've got a long and tough road ahead of them.